All right, in this video we're going to talk about using account numbers with QuickBooks. Okay. So, of course, one of the reasons why people love QuickBooks so much is how much you can kind of manipulate QuickBooks into being what you like, right? So, a lot of people uh, who have come from outside accounting products, they're used to having account numbers set up in their QuickBooks or in their file, in their accounting file. They're used to seeing these account numbers all the time. They live by these account numbers. Uh, for people who are not from the accounting, this is your first business or maybe this is your first time kind of having an entry position in the accounting world, uh, those numbers don't really mean too much to you, right? You don't really know the difference between a 6,000 and a 2,000. And sometimes if you're at company A, a 6,000 could be expenses, but then company B, 6,000 is your cost of goods sold. So a lot of times it's kind of difficult for people to, uh, you know, really hone in on those chart of account numbers and using them. Uh, they're incredibly helpful though, uh, and they help you to organize your chart of accounts a little bit better. They also help sometimes to translate, right, to outside sources what these things are. Again, the ones tend to be assets, twos tend to be payables or liabilities, threes tend to be equity, four income, five cogs, cost of goods sold or cost of services, and then six expenses, etc. So that's what it tends to be. And when I say six, it can be 60,000, it could be 6,000, it could be 600. Depends on the company you're at. Okay, so there's no right or wrong way to set up your uh, account numbers. It's also not required, right? It's helpful, <laughs> it's not required. Okay, so in QuickBooks, we come in here to our preferences and we have our accounting. All right, under here, you can choose to you know, use account numbers or not, okay? So if I turn off account numbers, all it does is it just hides that field. They're not gone, they're still here. It just hides that field from my view in QuickBooks, right? If I edit, oops, <laughs> if I edit an account, that little box up here is still there in the database. You just can't see it, okay? So I'm gonna turn it back on now so we can see some of the benefits. Okay, account numbers back on. Oh, look, they all magically appeared again. <laughs> okay, so why use account numbers? So QuickBooks is going to sort <clears throat> based on the name, right? If you don't use account numbers, it's going to put it in alphabetical order. So for some of the things that we, like if we get down to the expenses area, right? If we want it in a different order than alphabetical, then we need to use the account numbers in order to get them in that order we want, okay? So account numbers, again, they're also very helpful because when we go in to enter a bill, so let's say we're gonna put in a bill for postage and delivery. Okay, so on the expenses tab here, I can start typing postage and delivery, right, to get me to that account, or I can type 6255. So it does help, right? It, it does help for speed of entry. The problem is, of course, you have to remember those, G, those GL account numbers. You have to start to memorize them. And if you are new to a company or if you've switched to a, you know, a different company, uh, it, it will take you a little bit of time to get to know those GL account numbers, okay? But you can use either or. Now, of course, if I turn off account numbers, I can only type in postage and delivery. What we've found for people as they're hiring staff in their accounting area, people are going to start to type postage, right, first. They're not going to go in and memorize your chart of accounts ahead of time. So, you know, they're looking for rent, they're going to type rent and go down the list here, right? So definitely is something to consider uh, when setting up those chart of account numbers. Okay, so if we get them out of order for any reason, right, we can always come down here and resort the list. It'll put them back in order, again, based on the numbers here. Okay, so put number order and then alphabetical order for the header accounts since I don't have numbers there. And notice you don't have to have numbers for every account, right? I can come in here and take away this number as long as it's not required in my preferences. You don't have to have numbers, so you can see um, you know, there's a lot of options in there, so they're not required 
at all. Okay. So now you get to decide whether or not you want to use account numbers. 